A nine-year-old Sioux Falls boy is turning his dyslexia into a superpower. Endeavor Elementary third grader Colt Davidson is the main character of a new book written by his mother that spells out the rewards of overcoming the challenges presented by dyslexia, a condition where the brain scrambles letters in words. Perry Groton tracks the brave journey of Colt the Courageous in tonight's Eye on Land. The book's cover shows a young superhero soaring to new heights. Me flying in the sky, yeah. I kind of wish I could fly, it would be fun. The high-flying Colt the Courageous has embarked on a lofty mission. Help people that don't know what dyslexia is and help people that uh, get diagnosed with dyslexia and they know what to do. I loved writing my letters in shaving cream and going on letter scavenger hunts. Nine-year-old Colt Davidson enjoys being read to by his mom, but it's a different story when he pages through a book himself. When Colt was in kindergarten, he was struggling with reading, and so we started kind of investigating a few things, and I was thinking, well, maybe he's dyslexic. Colt was diagnosed with dyslexia as a first grader. Sometimes the letters get mixed up for my E, or sometimes I lose where I'm reading. If I get done with a line, if the book's like has like like a lot of paragraphs in it, I sometimes have to count down lines to see where I am. Colt has been getting extra help with his reading during and after school. His mom decided to write about his struggle with dyslexia out of necessity. It was at that point that I thought, okay, well, if dyslexia impacts one in five, there are other parents out there like me that may need a resource. And so I just said, well, then I'm going to write a book. I'm going to write about Colt's journey. Davidson's writing project became the book Colt the Courageous. And in a plot twist, Davidson characterizes Colt's dyslexia not as an obstacle, but a superpower. It is his superpower, and I think he's going to do amazing, amazing things um, as he grows, and we've already seen it in the last couple years. We took tutoring, special reading classes, and they've taught me how to read. I've actually gone up seven reading levels this year. As Colt levels up in his reading skills, his mom hopes the book can dispel misconceptions about dyslexia. People wonder, well, will he outgrow it? And he will never outgrow it. He will always be dyslexic. But we're teaching him the tools, not we. His tutors, his interventionists, and we're trying to supplement that at home. The book is written in a special font that's supposed to be easier to read for kids with dyslexia. This font is intended to, um, you know, has characteristics to make the letter reversals harder. And so, and the words are, or letters are a little bit more spaced out to make it easier to read. The book also stresses that students need to be accepting of a classmate with dyslexia, since everyone learns differently. And Colt's progress in boosting his reading ability is a true act of courage. I'm working hard every day, and I'm going to do great things in my life. I am proud to be dyslexic. Yay. With Eye on Killaland, I'm Perry Groton. <laughs> Colt the Courageous is illustrated by Sioux Falls artist Hector Curiel. A book launch party will take place this Saturday afternoon in downtown Sioux Falls that will include a reading of the book. If you would like to attend or if you would like to pre-order a book, we have a link to the Colt the Courageous website under this story on Kelloland.com.